What's up everybody, Brian Tong here, and I got a chance to head out to WB Games to get early access and check out the Terminator T-800 from the Mortal Kombat 11 Combat Pack featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm so hyped for this. So in this video, I'm putting everything I got in here, the Terminator's two fatalities, three brutalities, some of the hilarious intros he has with different characters, and mirror matches, plus a different gear and skins available, and then a new Sonya Blade skin that's a Sarah Connor skin in action, plus what happens when fatalities are done to the Terminator. So let's start off with some gameplay, and then I'll show you the two fatalities and three brutalities. The Terminator has a brutal beat-em-up style, and his speed and range kind of reminds me a little bit of Jason from Mortal Kombat 10, but I really liked playing as the Terminator more. He's more dynamic, and then come on, guys, it's Arnold. The T-800 has two loadouts that I got to check out, but I'm going to first at least show you and break down his abilities. Here's the list of all of them, so check this out. But the two loadouts available were Model 101 and Deadly Assassin. Now, Model 101 has three moves. The Death Grip, that's an air throw. The Infiltrator Toss that grabs opponents from the air while, while you're on the ground. And then the Endo Lunge, that's this leaping overhead blow with a purple glow. And then you can even use a bar of offensive meter to finish it off with this gun spray on the ground. Now, I got to check this out before NetherRealm's combat cast about the Terminator, which they go a lot more into detail. So I won't know some of the nuances that they talk about, and I might miss some things, but the Deadly Assassin loadout is real unique. The first move it has is Terminate. That's a buff that gives the Terminator armor. He glows red, but it also disables the ability to dash, jump, or duck. And then the big one is the Endoskeleton special move that takes up two ability slots, so if the Terminator's health gets into the Fatal Blow area, it's pretty much is like when you're about to die. But from what I can tell, it only showed up um, when I was in the Fatal Blow kind of health range. The Terminator burns up and then becomes the Endoskeleton that can take damage but can't be knocked down and then uses basic moves to try and finish off the match. It's almost like a zombie coming at you, but it's an Endoskeleton. Pretty sweet. Love how it looks. But enough of the talking, all right? You got to check out some of this gameplay. Let's check out the two fatalities and the three brutalities that I got to see. Finish him. The Terminator wins. Fatality. You won't be back. The Terminator wins. Fatality. You won't be back. The Terminator wins. You are terminated. The Terminator wins. Those are just so, so gnarly. Now, one of the best parts of having the Terminator in the game is that instead of bones and brains, it's electronic metal parts. It's made of an endoskeleton. So that means fatalities from other characters look completely different and feel fresh when they're done on the T-800. So I collected some of them for you. Fatality. Shang Tsung wins. Flawless victory. Finish him. Fatality. 
Fatality. Cassie Cage wins. Finish him. Fatality. Cassie Cage wins. Fatality. Baraka wins. Those fatalities are freaking crazy. They're just awesome. Now, he also has different intros and victories, so let's check those out. And if you look at those, the Terminator is just trolling Johnny Cage hard in those intros. But the best part about this character has to be the dialogue. Now, the likeness is Arnold's, but the voice acting is done from a different actor, so you won't actually hear Arnold's voice in the game. Sometimes it sounds just like him. Other times it's a little bit off, but barely. Honestly, it's just awesome either way. So there's some real great interactions in here. I'm going to play a bunch of them, starting with Johnny Cage. And then trust me, you're going to want to stay and watch all the way through the Baraka ones. To be or not to be? Leave or be terminated. Not to be. You'll take me to Sarah Connor? Think of me as your Johnny Cab. You lie. Have you killed anyone? Yeah, but they were all bad. Why make that distinction? I have detailed files on human anatomy. To make you a more efficient killer. Correct. You know, folks call me a female Terminator. Why? Get ready to find out. I hear you're an automated killing machine. Cyberdyne Systems, Model 101. At least you're not a damn cyber ninja. Sierra Connor? Sonya Blade. Also targeted for termination. What's up? What? No roses? Just guns. <sighs> Welcome to the jungle. Stand down. You wouldn't hurt me, would you, sweetheart? Wrong. <laughs> Why are you upset? Because Cage turned on your learning computer. Chill out, Jax. You just can't go around killing people. Why not? You just can't. Trust me. How long you been here? Two weeks. Two weeks too long, you ask me. Perhaps technology is superior to magic. Magic is an artificial construct. You're not from around here, are you? Why send the replacement? 
You failed in your mission. I've only just arrived. Our objective is unchanged. Skynet has confirmed. Humanity's termination will commence. What series are you? NRS-419. What are your upgrades? You have been reprogrammed to protect John Connor from you. He will be terminated. The Terminator wins. Beneath my skin is a metal endoskeleton. Then eating you won't ease my hunger. Affirmative. You will be captured alive. To torture me for secrets. To become the basis for a Tarkatan Terminator. You've never fought a Tarkatan. If you bleed, I can kill you. <laughs> a delusional machine. What a cage teach you to call me? An ugly motherfucker. I will eat him alive. Round one. Fight. Okay, dropping an MF or bomb in this game. It just got real. Oh man, I love this stuff. Uh, that one just absolutely blew my mind when I first heard it. So there's a lot of references to Arnold's movies. Beyond the Terminator, you got the Predator there. I feel like there's a Batman one in there as well. Um, I didn't get to explore every character, so there's going to be a lot of other gems that you can all find. Then if we're talking different Terminator skins, I went through it all. There's a lot of leather jackets, a lot of color variations. There's also some fun stuff with T-shirts. So you have one here where he's rocking Cage's gym. Um, there's a Mortal Kombat 11 logo as well. I'm just going to go through a couple of these. But the coolest skin is the Battle Damage T-800 with a completely exposed endoskeleton arm. And then you got to see that there's damage to his skull. Oh man, that is just super slick. And there's so many other ones we're checking out. Also, his gear is fun. I'm just going to kind of pound through this. Here's a bunch of his different shades. Some are uh, totally out there. Then his shotgun gear. And his grenade gear. Plus, an awesome bonus. What a surprise. Sonya Blade gets a new Sarah Connor skin in her military gear. It's so badass. I mean, all this content that NetherRealm keeps adding and giving to us in this game, it's amazing. So, you know, you got to show nothing but love. Hats off to Ed Boon and the entire NetherRealm team. Look, we still have Sindel coming, the Joker, and Spawn coming as well. Like, sheesh. Now, the Terminator T-800 will be available to people who purchase the combat pack one week early on October the 8th. Plus, you get a double feature skin pack that has the Sarah Connor, Sonya Blade skin, Johnny Cage in like a tuxedo, and then Kano looking a lot like Cyborg. You get early access to that as well on October 8th. Everyone else will be able to get the Terminator T-800 um, by purchasing him and also getting the skin pack one week later. So that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, if you did, thumbs up, subs up, and you can hit that notification bell to get all my content. I do a lot of stuff ranging from tech, gaming, geek culture, all that fun stuff. So take care. Thanks so much for watching and talk to you soon. Peace. Fatality. The Terminator wins.